Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the RockPi 4C single board computer which has been supplied for review by my friends at Seed Studio. The RockPi 4C is a very well specified competitor to the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's go and take a closer look. Right, here we have the uh, Rock Pi 4C from uh, Radsa. If we turn it over, you'll see definitely this is the Rock Pi 4 Model C. And uh, this is an upgraded version of the uh, Rock Pi 4B, and it costs uh, $59. So uh, let's open it up. I'll bring in Stanley the knife and try and get through this uh, tape down here. There we are, get in there. Open up the little box. Oh, it comes off completely. There we are. Little, uh, oh, there we are. And a uh, little card comes out. There we are. There is the, uh, the Rock Pi 4C. It's always nice to open up a new single board computer, isn't it? And here's a lovely new uh, single board computer. And uh, I thought we should start out putting this in the context of its major competitors. So uh, let's take the Rock Pi 4C and uh, put it down next to the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 4 gigabyte model over here and the uh, Odroid C4. And uh, as you can see, all three of these boards have got the same form factor. They've also all got four gigabytes of memory and they've got roughly the same price, which is $55 for the Raspberry Pi 4 four gigabyte model, $59 for the Rock Pi 4C and $50 for the Odroid C4. So the Rock Pi 4C in the middle here is the most expensive board, although it is worth noting it's got onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as does the Raspberry Pi, but there's no onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the Odroid C4. And uh, even more significantly, if we turn over the Rock Pi 4C, you will see down here, let's turn it around that way, we've got a, an M.2 slot, which will take an NVMe SSD up to two terabytes. And we don't have an M.2 slot on either of the other boards. So uh, with the uh, Rock Pi 4C now set in the context of its competitors, let's now delve more deeply into its specifications. So, here we have a nice close shot of the uh, Rock Pi 4C. And uh, if we flick it over, you can see it's based on a, a Rockchip RK3399 system on a chip, which has two ARM Cortex A72 cores running at 1.8 GHz and four ARM Cortex A53 cores running at 1.4 GHz. There's also an ARM Mali T860 MP4 GPU and as already noted, the board has got four gigabytes of RAM, which is 64-bit, 3200 megahertz DDR4. Also under the board, at one end, we find a real-time clock battery connector. That's uh, great to see on a single board computer. And uh, over here, we have a switch for turning on OTG functionality on one of the board's USB 3 ports. On the other end of the underside of the board, we find all kinds of things for connecting uh, storage devices. We've got for a start a micro SD card slot there, which will take a card up to one to eight gigabyte. And uh, over here, we've got a connector for connecting an EMMC flash module, also up to 128 gigabytes. And then wait for it. We've also got the uh, M.2 slot here, which supports uh, an NVMe SSD up to two terabytes. A micro SD card, an EMMC flash module, and an NVMe SSD can potentially all also be used as boot devices. So the Rock Pi 4C is an SBC with a great many boot and storage options. This said, as you might have noticed, the M.2 slot points, if you like, in the wrong direction. It points that way. So if we take an NVMe drive and plug it in like that, you'll see it points uh, out of the end of the board, which means we really need to use an extender module with the Rock Pi 4C to use an NVMe SSD. And I'll come back to that a bit later in the video. For now, if we flick the board back over, you'll see on the top of the board, there is a, a wireless chip here. This offers us a 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. And over here, there is a four pin connector for a power over ethernet, a PoE connector, which can be used with an add-on board. Also on the top of the board, in exactly the same places as on a Raspberry Pi, we find a couple of connectors here. These are MIPI connectors for a camera serial interface and display serial interface. And these are compatible with Raspberry Pi cameras and LCD displays. 
Turning to the main short edge, we find a very familiar configuration, starting with a gigabit Ethernet socket, and then we've got four Type-A USB ports, two of which USB 2 and two of which USB 3, just like on a Raspberry Pi 4. Spinning 90 to the main long edge, we find four very interesting connectors, starting here with the USB-C connector for powering the board, and then over here, a 3.5mm audio jack, which offers stereo output as well as a microphone input, and as far as I can see, the end of this connector is gold-plated. And then in the middle of these two connectors, we have two connectors offering display output. One of these is micro HDMI 2.0, and this offers 4K output at up to 60 frames a second. But then we've also got this mini DisplayPort, DisplayPort 1.2 to be accurate, and this offers a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1440, again up to 60 frames a second. And it's worth noting that the Rock Pi 4C can drive two displays simultaneously, so you could use both of these uh, display connectors together if you wished, or you could use one of these along with an LCD panel connected to the board's MIPI DSi port. Finally, if we take a look at the second long edge, we find a Raspberry Pi compatible GPIO connector, 40 pin GPIO connector, which uh, as you can see is very helpfully color coded. And so overall, the Rock Pi 4C is a very well specified single board computer boasting features including an M.2 NVMe SSD slot, a microphone input, a mini display port connector, and a real-time clock battery connector, which you won't find on its major competitors. Right, before we boot this board up, let's turn to the wonderful world of accessories. And for a start, we're going to need a power supply, I'm going to be using the official Radsa USB-C power supply with its nice uh, braided red cord. I do like that. And uh, for uh, any board like this with an RK3399 processor, there it is, look, still uh, on the base of the board, we're going to need a heatsink. And when I looked at the Rock Pi 4B on this channel, I looked at the two official options for a heatsink for the board, which were uh, this small heatsink and uh, this very large heatsink which goes on the base of the board, and uh, this is very good indeed, this large heatsink. But I've discovered that the uh, large heatsink which fits on the Rock Pi 4B and indeed 4A won't work on the Rock Pi 4C. And uh, to explain why, if we look at the two boards together, here we have the Rock Pi 4B with its single full-size HDMI connector and the Rock Pi 4C with its double display connectors. And if we turn the boards over, you will see that the system on the chip, the RK3399, is in a slightly different position on the two boards, and the memory chips are in a slightly different position as well, single memory chip on, on the C, uh, two on the B. So it means that everything doesn't line up perfectly with this uh, heatsink to use it on the, the Rock Pi 4C, which was designed for the Rock Pi 4B. But uh, fortunately, there's no problem at all, of course, using the small heatsink. Another peripheral which will work perfectly well is uh, this one, which is the uh, M.2 extender board for the Rock Pi 4 range, which again, as I demonstrated in my previous Rock Pi 4B videos, fits very nicely above the board, so allowing the mounting of an NVMe SSD. However, to start out here, I'm going to boot the Rock Pi 4C from a micro SD card, and so uh, here, by the magic of filmmaking, I've got everything connected up. Greetings, here I am back again, and we're now booting into Debian on the Rock Pi 4C. And okay, you probably think this is a picture of a very dark colored object taken at night in a coal mine with all the lights turned off, but no, we're booting into Debian on the, the Rock Pi 4C. And uh, here we are on the Debian desktop. And uh, as usual, this is not my first boot. I have gone in and changed a few display settings to make things work better on video, but basically you're seeing what you get with the standard Debian image made available by Radsa for the, the Rock Pi 4C. And if we go down to the menu, you'll see they've left things uh, nice and uh, sparse. We don't have lots of things installed we don't want. A few accessories here, got to have a calculator, things like that, image viewer, etc., leaf pad for uh, editing text and whatnot. Uh, under internet, we've got the Chromium browser. Sound and video, we've got a player there. Uh, oh, we've got various system tools and various preferences as, as you would expect. So uh, let's launch the uh, Chromium web browser. There it is, coming up. 
Come on, Chromium, we want to go to the internet. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum. There we are, we've got Chromium has uh, come up. And uh, I've set my home page here to be the download page for the, the Rock Pi 4 board, just so you can see what is available. And uh, what you can basically see here, there isn't a lot available yet for the Rock Pi 4C. I'm uh, making this video on the 13th of August 2020, so it's very early days for software for the Rock Pi 4C. And as you can see, whilst there's a lot of stuff available for the A and B models, for the 4C at the moment, there's currently Android 10 there, and there's a Debian 9 desktop, which is what we're currently running. And something I want to show you in Chromium on the Debian desktop is uh, my standard uh, YouTube test video, which I've got somewhere here, I think. Uh, there it is down there. Let's just run this up and uh, full screen that. There we are, that's going up like that. And we'll bring up uh, stats for nerds, as we always do, and uh, see what happens. It's doing a bit of buffering. Oh, you've got to do a bit of buffering, haven't you? You wouldn't be a proper computer if you didn't do a bit of buffering. And uh, here we are, running in a 1080p. And uh, to my eyes, this is very good indeed. Now, I know we're showing a few drop frames up in the um, stats at the top there, up in stats for nerds, but uh, I think it's partially about settling. It is the odd drop frame here and there, certainly. But I think the playback here is better than we see on anything I've tried in a browser, at least, on the Raspberry Pi 4 or on the Odroid C4. This is very good playback. I will be very happy to use this as a YouTube player. It, it just works. It works very nicely. Things like the transitions seem to be very good. It just seems good quality video playback. So this is literally what you get straight out of the box and it works very nicely indeed. So that's a, a very good result. Very impressed with a browser-based playback on the, the Rock Pi 4C. So uh, there we are. This is Debian running on the Rock Pi 4C, as you probably gathered by now. Right, here I am back again in the Debian, and I've now got an NVMe SSD, a WD Black NVMe SSD no less, connected up using the extender board mounted on top of the Rock Pi 4C, as you can see. And I had hoped to boot from the NVMe drive to install Debian on the drive and boot from that, but sadly, I can't make that work. I know that on the earlier Rock Pi 4 models, the A and the B, you had to update the SPI flash to get NVMe booting working. I hope that might not be the case on the Rock Pi 4C, but it seems it is the case. I've tried writing an image directly to the NVMe drive, the WD Black drive, connecting it up, and it doesn't boot. And I've looked through all the stuff on the wiki that's available at Radsa, lots of information here on, on their wiki about the Rock Pi 4. And this is the page about NVMe booting. And sadly, it says at the moment, this tutorial applies to the Rock Pi 4A and Rock Pi 4B. So it looks like we're still waiting to find out exactly what we do to SPI flash or whatever to boot from NVMe on the Rock Pi 4C, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, the drive is there. If I just go to um, System Tools there and the Terminal, and I do an uh, LSDLK, List Block Devices, you can see it's there. Look, we've actually got the drive here and mounted and that's absolutely fine. I just can't uh, boot from it yet. So that is something clearly to be added to the, the firmware for this board in the future. The Rock Pi 4C is a very nice piece of hardware. It's got a great feature set. And over the past few days, since I recorded the earlier parts of this video, I've had the board connected to my television, playing back YouTube in Chromium, in Debian, as we saw earlier, and that's been working very well indeed. Now, admittedly, right now, software support could be broader, but I would suspect in time the community will embrace the Rock Pi 4C as it embraced earlier Rock Pi 4 models, and will have a wider choice of operating systems. And it would also be really nice if we could boot from an NVMe SSD. Maybe I've missed something in what I've tried for this video, but I don't think I have. But regardless, it would be great if we could boot from an NVMe SSD on the Rock Pi 4C in the future. And it would also be nice if we could have a new version of this very large heatsink, which was so great on the earlier Rock Pi 4 models, to attach to the Rock Pi 4C. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.